The longest homestand of the season comes to an end today after two weeks of sleeping in their own bed, eating their own food, and seeing their own family. It might be hard to get these guys back on an airplane. Ray, our trainer, just informed us that we have a game Monday away in Cleveland, and you can find everybody almost just not willing to go. <laughs> so it does feel good. We needed a long homestand. We went out for two weeks, uh, we, two and a half weeks in February. Then we came back two days or three days and went out a week and a half longer. So it feels real good. How does the head coach spend his time during a long homestand? Babysit, um, <laughs> help with the dishes and the cooking. And, and, you know, the wives have been cooped up for a while, but uh, just nice being home where you can relax and uh, be on your own bed. Um, you're not eating, eating in the restaurant. And the players get a chance to just get back to their normal um, daily duties. But don't worry when the Celtics return to the road. Their exploits away from Boston Garden have been almost as noteworthy as their near flawless home record. A big reason? Confidence. Oh, I think it's, you know, the most important part, uh, confidence, especially going into the playoffs. And because uh, you're going to have a lot of close games and that, uh, you know, that air of confidence and that uh, confidence in each other is really, I think, is what's going to win your games down, you know, the close games. But if you're at a level where you're going good and your confidence is high uh, and your team is playing well, you know, that just takes you up a notch uh, further so it just makes you feel almost when you get on the court that you know you have to play and you have to play very well to win but almost any night maybe one of your people may not have the best of games but you're almost confident and pretty sure you're confident that anybody behind him is going to step in and play just as well how would you compare the confidence on this team to the clubs you played with the world champion teams the same the same uh, the same level uh, we had some very cocky team cocky guys and um, since 1958, uh, Russell Cousy, Charmin, uh, right down the line. Uh, and uh, the nine, uh, the nine years I played, uh, uh, I think we were the most, cock uh, we were the cockiest team in the whole league for those nine years. And this team matches that, uh, which I like very much. But, uh, without being cocky, even you're not going to be as good as you are. You, you won't be picking the game, or you won't be picking ways to beat the other club. But, but. Uh, that's, that's the only way to play the game. That way you operate uh, all the potential that you have. If you don't have that, that kind of confidence, and, uh, uh, there will be a period there where you get a little shaky and the legs get a little wall, uh, wall, um, what do you call it, wobbly, and then the eyes start both rolling around a little bit. Uh, no, it's, uh, this, is, this is on par with the teams I've played.